you know, as you said, there's no one who really can meet so the have criteria. Yeah. So you got to meet the criteria, yeah. Let me ask you this question. Yeah. When you advertise, it was just advertised for in-house? Yes. So, of course, nobody else had, nobody had to buy it. And uh, this gentleman said he's been there 10 years? Yeah, from the mind of the theory. I've been here six years, the first time I've ever seen you. Oh, sorry? I said, I've been here six years, the first time I've ever seen you. You remember corresponding so about no. how we charge fees? No. I'm just, I'm <laughs> the, 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 did you apply? <laughs> no, I'm going to make it. Just, they were waiting for me to say something. They knew I was going to be one. Well. <laughs> He's in so. uh, uh, the normal uh, form. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, congratulations. All right, any other uh, real or comments? Okay, can we um, potentially have a motion to move up uh, resolution 123? Move. Second. Motion and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Tanya, can you read Resolution 123? Absolutely. Resolution advising and consenting to the appointment of Eric Custa as Atlantic County Division Director, County Park System, to be effective March 1, 2019. Second. We have a motion and a second. Are there any other people comments on that? Any comments from the public on this? Seeing none, we'll have a roll call vote. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Dave? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Formica? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, Eric, you know you don't have to stay, right? You got what you want. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see some of your team members with you here. So All right. Uh, next up, we have ordinance. An ordinance to amend the Atlantic County Water Quality Management Plan and future wastewater service area map to include a portion of Block 473, Lot 13, and Block 647, Lot 7, Gabriel Memorial Fields, and Tartaglio Park in Galloway Township, Atlantic County, New Jersey, into a sewer service area. First reading. Second. Motion. And a second. Any questions or comments from pre orders? Any comments? Terry, when we do an extension to our sewer map for a specific purpose like recreation, we put a restriction on that for future development. If so, if the township would want to sell that, such as for housing, or does that sewer connection stay there in perpetuity for any future use? So let me answer it this way. In order, in order for you to use that for a development futuristically, you would have to go back to our planning department who would have to then agree or disagree for housing, and that would have to be approved by DEP. So, so this was not in the original sewer service plan for Galloway. So now this is an amendment. You just couldn't use that for housing. It's used specifically for recreation. To be used for housing, you'd have to go back in and, and make that request. So it's a use specific That's extension correct. of the sewer system. Thank you. Any other? Uh, yes, bring order names. Yeah, I mean, this would be a, a significant improvement to the athletic fields. I mean, all of Galloway Township athletic fields are um, on, on Deer Street here at Tertagio and Gabriel. Um, they have, they've used uh, porta potties for as long as I can remember. Um, major uh, improvement for the fields out that way. Um, Gabriel Field, by the way, is, is privately owned uh, by the Galloway Township Athletic Association. Yeah. I'm totally in support of it. I just want to know the future implications. Okay. Any other pre order comments? Okay, so this is first reading. So with that, um, take a motion. Move. Second. Motion, second. Roll call vote, please. Bertino? Yes. Excuse me. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Dave? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Vermica? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. And we'll have a public hearing on that at a future meeting. Okay, next up are our resolutions, starting with um, 61. Atlantic County Budget Notice 2019, final reading. Move. Second. Motion and a second. Um, <coughs> any other pre order comments on our budget? Comment. This is public comment only, right? We have not adopted the budget, right? Well, that's as, as far as I understand it, and Bonnie or somebody can correct me, um, for, the, for these four items uh, that are budget related, we can go ahead and have our final reading, but because the state has not yet 
approved our budget, which they apparently need to do and haven't done yet, um, which I find interesting. The state has to approve our budget. But anyway, um, but, hold on. So they have to approve it, and once that's done, then we will move to adopt formally. What? Well, uh, uh, I'm not questioning the formality. I'm just <coughs> questioning the the duality of the fact that we're going to vote on it today that has not been approved by the state. Are we going backwards? No, we're doing final yeah. reading. I said it. Oh, okay. then we you have your hearing today, and your budget doesn't change for the state. Right. this would uh, substitute the new having a Right. And the recommendation from the DCA uh, to the body or treasury was that the board do go forward with the with public hearing. The public hearing. As advertised. It gets changed in any significant amount. There's lots of rules about that, uh, calculations and percentage of changes and line items and whole sections and so forth. Then we have to do a meeting. Right. But barring that, we can conduct a public hearing now. Right. And then go forward to a bill once you get approved of the DCA. Right. And, and we are following the DCA's timeline that they outlined for us to be at this point by. Yeah. Anyway, okay. We're not actually following that. Not true, right? It just seems to be a little out of the norm. It is. Um, and so we're not following what the real deal is. So I don't know what the problem what No, the, we're, the we're on time. No, no, but I don't know what the. I, I guess I'm confused, but we've got to wait for the state to prove it. I get, is it anything to do with the pilot? Anything to do with go, uh, uh, what's that, uh, hard rocks? Because I've never seen it this way before. Well, uh, you, you, can't, you can't approve your budget until it's been approved by the DCA, the state. We never can do that in any instance. Uh, normally, we get approval of Part time, two. Right. And time to do it. We're not approving it at this time by reason of the fact that the state budget has not been approved. Correct. Okay, for a little you made, you made my point. Go ahead. We're not, we're not waiting for the state to approve mm -hmm. our budget. They haven't done a budget. We can't incorporate our budget into their budget until they approve their budget. So we're actually just just reading this out for any discussions they putting on the shelf and assuming that the state approves their budget, then it will become. You're not taking the vote today. You're not taking the vote. You're holding the hearing. You can't take the vote until the DCA gives you the approval. So we can't vote on 61 or 61. But we can vote on 63 and 63 as I understand. Vote on 62, 63, and 64. Okay. Yeah, you can vote on all the other ones. The only one we can't vote on is 61. That's the county budget. Okay. And I, just to be clear, the review of the budget's been complete. Right. We have authorization. It's done. I've answered all, all the questions that they had. At yeah. Level. But um. You know, the Mika said is true in that the state has said that because the governor has not introduced their budget, which is scheduled for March 5th, mm -hmm. which we don't have a pre-order meeting on that day, right. we are not allowed to adopt our budget until the 12th, right. until after the introduction of the state budget. Right. Okay. The lessons we learned here is the DCA is in charge of everything. We just were in charge of the we know. Yeah. In charge. Okay. okay, so with that, we have a uh, final reading for 61 that has been motioned and seconded. So I say, are there any uh, final comments from the board? Freeholder Fitzpatrick, you had one, right, on I, the budget? I did. Um, uh, expanding on what Freeholder Corsi said, um, we know that there is a tax appeal coming at $100,000 a year for four years. And I've been thinking about this for the last few days, and I just don't feel comfortable that we're not making a note of that anywhere in our budget. We talked about it in our budget committee meeting, and um, I think that that liability should be recorded somewhere. Well, we talked about it here as well, and I think Jerry made mention that we we are aware of it and planning for it in the future, and that we believe we are able to fill that in in the future, and not having to do anything to modify the budget we had put together thus far. Okay. In fact, it will, it will not occur 
the the um, the settlement with the hard lock was for 2020 through 2023 and they interceded on our behalf to the state division of taxation along with our tax administrator saying that they would they would allow us to phase it in as well so we would be phasing in over the four years 2020 2021 22 and 23 uh, roughly ninety four thousand dollars which is which is the which is was their selling roughly right. that, that's our share of the seven divided by four it would be 94, 94 times 4 is, is, the, okay. is the seven. Right. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I mean, we've talked about it now twice here. Nobody has, else has had an interest in. Go ahead, sir. With 9 million in surplus a year, and with the year not starting until 2020, we can't anticipate what the cost is going to be. We know full well that we can absorb that, you know, with adjustment. Okay, so I mean, just I just want to remind the, the, the budget subcommittee and the rest of the board, j just for the sake of argument, I know, and, 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 and I think uh, the order originally made a point of this at one of the one of the budget subcommittees that we did, you know, the the years for, since 2007 to 2018, the county has had a refund of 78 million dollars. That roughly breaks out to seven plus a year. This year, the refund is. One million dollars and change. What one million, eleven thousand, whatever it is. So if, if if in fact we can we can anticipate the city still being less <laughs> less than five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve million dollars. Right. This, that that is probably the best thing that ever could happen to us. So ninety four thousand dollars is is absolutely a problem. Yeah. That just and, and he made that point. Uh, you know how many times? Yeah. Okay. No other freeholder comments. We'll open up the budget to the public for comment. Yes, come on up. Yeah. <coughs> nice to see other people in the room. Ah. <coughs> uh, Creed Poe from Estelle Manor. Um, Going back to what Mr. Steedle was advising the board regarding, um, since we don't know what DCA is going, how they're going to respond to the final information, and it may be that everything's fine, in which case everyone's being prudent, and that's the end of it. On the other hand, we could hear other things, um, but that the a subsequent public hearing. A would not necessarily have to happen depending on certain thresholds being triggered. B, my understanding is, at least from my time in municipal service, that the subsequent public hearing would only affect those items that are changed. However, in the event, I would just ask for a commitment from the board, in the event that there are changes that instead of it being only limited to certain things, depending on what, if any, changes happen, um, that may trigger other broader discussions. Yeah, again, we don't, I'm not saying we know, I'm just saying if we met that we do, that instead that um, that would be reopened. It may be that all this is moot and DCA doesn't do anything, in which case that's fine. Uh, or it may be that it's so minor that whatever's changed doesn't trigger any thresholds and everybody's fine. On the other hand, if it is a little more dramatic than that, then perhaps having the whole budget being open, just in the event that there are other thoughts, suggestions, or whatever, uh, would be prudent. So I would ask that the board, um, at a minimum, being nice, uh, give strong consideration to uh, that uh, idea. Okay, thanks. Any other members of the public wish to comment on the budget? Okay, coming back to freeholder comments. Thank you. Uh, in regards to the last comment, it would have to be a material change. That's the key. <coughs> a material change. Check out the minor factor of material change. And now we're affecting of the budget in a major way. Okay. So with that, I think we'll close the public hearing. Um, and we do not need a vote to adopt on that one. So we will go ahead and move on to number 62. Atlantic County Public Health Annual Budget Notice 2019 Final Meeting. 
Sure. Motion and second. Any free order final comments on public health budget? Anything uh, not? Yes, sir. Uh, just for the record, um, I think that the Atlantic County Department is doing an outstanding job, and they are up on their game. And, uh, they don't normally get the recognition they should do, but I think we probably, I bet you say, probably have one of the best health departments around. I agree. Thanks for making those comments. Any other freeholder comments? Okay. Any comments from the public on that one? Okay. Hearing none, we will uh, move forward with the roll call to adopt. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Dave? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Pramika? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gadda? Yes. 63? Atlantic County, Atlantic County Annual Library Budget Notice 2019 Final Rating. Motion. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Okay, and any final comments from the board on library budget? Okay, seeing none, any member of the public wish to comment on the library budget? Okay, seeing none, we'll have a roll call to adopt. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Horsey? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Vermica? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. 64. Resolution to exceed the county budget appropriation limits and to establish a 2019 cap bank NJSA 48-4-45.14 final reading. Move. Second. Motion and second on our uh, establishment of the cap bank. Any final comments from the free holders on that one? Any comments from the public on final reading of that one? Okay, seeing none, we'll have a roll call to, to adopt. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Ramika? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. 103. Application and acceptance of Liberty Mid Atlantic High Intensity Drug Trafficking Area Grant from the United States Department of Justice, amount not to exceed $150,000. Motion. Second. Motion and a second. Any freeholder comments? Comments from the public on that one? Seeing none, roll call vote. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Vermica? Yes. Hearn? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. 104. Amending resolution number 403, adopted August 28, 2018, to submit an application for Victims of Crime Act grant program to the New Jersey Department of Law and Public Safety amount not to exceed. Seven hundred sixty-eight thousand thirteen dollars. Second motion and second. Any free order comments? Any comments from the public? Roll call vote. Bennett. Yes. Bertino. Yes. Corsi. Dave. Yes. Fitzpatrick. Yes. Vermica. Yes. Kern. Yes. Risley. Yes. And Gatta. Yes. One hundred five. Grant acceptance from the Victims of Crime Act grant program funding from the New Jersey Department of Law and Public Safety Office of the Attorney General. Grant funding amount six hundred. $612,841, county in-kind match $260,507. Motion. Motion. Motion and a second. Any freeholder comments on this grant acceptance? Any comments from the public? Roll call vote. Bennett? Yes. Rutino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Vermica? Yes. Kern? Yes. <coughs> Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. 106. Submission of e-grant applications to the schools and library division of the Universal Service Administrative Company to provide affordable access to telecommunication services for all eligible schools and libraries in the amount of $134,120.48. Motion. Second. Motion and a second. Any freeholder comments on that one? Any comments from the public? Roll call vote. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Vermica? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatta? Yes. 107. Grant application for per capita state library aid funds from the New Jersey Department of Education State Library in the amount of $83,690. Move. No. Second. Motion and second. Any freeholder comments on that one? Any comments from the public? Seeing none, roll call vote. <coughs> Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Vermica? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. Uh, 108. Grant application to the New Jersey Department of Transportation for the fiscal year 19 annual transportation plan in the amount of $6,968,456. Motion. Second. Motion and a second. Any freeholder comments? Any comments from the public? 
63 Local 3408 and authorizing a formal written collective bargaining agreement incorporating the terms of the memorandum of agreement for a four-year period commencing January 1, 2017. Moved. Second. Motion of second. Any fair order comments? Any comments from the public? Roll call vote. Bennett? Yes. Bertina? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Vermica? Yes. Hearn? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. 119. Memorandum of agreement between the County of Atlantic and Fraternal Order of Police 112 independent superior officers of Atlantic County and authorizing a formal written collective bargaining agreement incorporating the terms of the memorandum of agreement for a four year period commencing January 1, 2019. Motion. Second. Motion and a second. Any freeholder comments? Comments from the public? Roll call vote. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Vermica? Yes. Kearns? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatta? Yes. I just want to take a minute to say thank you to Mr. Ferguson and your department for uh, completing those negotiations and the work that you did. We appreciate it. Well, thank you, Madam Chair. I appreciate that. Actually, the credit goes to Jennifer Starr of, of our office who did the negotiations. I'm just here covering for her today in case you had any questions, but uh, she really did the yeoman's work on this, so I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thanks. Okay, 120. Acceptance of right-of-way easements from various grantors for the widening of Mill Road, County Route 662 in the City of Northfield. Move. Second. Motion and second. Any freeholder comments? Comments from the public? Roll call vote. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Vermica? Yes. Hearn? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. 121. Amending resolution number 259 adopted May 30th, 2017 regarding an agreement with the City of Atlantic City pursuant to the County Municipal Open Space <coughs> Partnership Program extending the term no additional cost. Move. Second. Motion and a second. Any freeholder comments? Any comments from the public? Over. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Vermica? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. 122. Authorization to join the Source Well, formerly known as NJPA, National Cooperative, and execute contracts with Jesco for the purchase of a front end loader in the amount of 163000 and National Auto Fleet Group for the purchase of a plug in electric hybrid vehicle in the amount of $33,835. And motion and second, any freeholder comments? I guess, uh, I, 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 I guess for, for the budget subcommittee, I, I made uh, Mr. Brookings, our department, had promised that that front end loader would not go to happen. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that was a uh, discussion in our budget subcommittee meeting, yes. Not the guy from Hamilton, I'll tell you that. Real <laughs> 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 To the county administrator, is that coming from you or is that coming from the director? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I hear you say it, I mean, you know, I, I, I spoke, I, you, you asked me where is it going, I, I spoke directly to Mr. Brookins and he told me, promised me that was not coming. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, uh, may I ask your director? Absolutely, I think he's here. Right? Uh, well, I need yeah. to hear from the director. So say, we'll not go you to know, him. You know, when it goes south, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start with you. <laughs> we'll not go to him. You know, if, it, if it hits the Hamilton, you know. We have work out there, too, these days. So. We got all the new equipment. You know, we Thank left you. over there. All right. And, okay. Any other comments from the freeholder board? Any comments from the public? Seeing none, roll call vote. Bennett? Yeah. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? <laughs> uh, yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Vermica? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. 124. Appointment of Mary L. Lancaster to the Atlantic County Library Advisory Commission for a term expire on January 1, 2022. Second. Okay, we have a motion and second. Any freeholder comments? Any comments from the public? I was going to ask that next. Is Ms. Lancaster here? She is not. Okay. She had prior engagements no for problem. today. Okay, thanks. Roll call vote. Bennett? 
Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Ramika? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. 125. Appointment of Levi Fox to the Atlantic County Cultural and Heritage Advisory Board for a term expired July 31, 2022. Motion. Mm -hmm. Second. <coughs> and a second. Any comments from the free order board? Is Levi here? Okay. Any comments from the public on Levi? Roll call vote. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Pramika? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. 126? Reappointment of John Bitzer and Frank Schoenstein, Christine, to the Atlantic County Agricultural Development Board for a term to expire on December 1, 2022. Second. Second. Motion and second. Any comments from freeholders? Are Frank or John here? Okay. Any comments from the public on that? Okay, roll call vote. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Formica? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes, 127. Authorizing consent for a roadway solicitation event by Oceanville Volunteer Fire Company at the intersection of Pitney Road, County Route 634, and Great Creek Road in Galloway Township on Saturday, May 11, 2019 from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., and a second roadway solicitation event on Saturday, September 28, 2019, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Second. Motion and second. Any freeholder comments? Comments from the public? Roll call vote. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Ramika? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. 128. Resolution amending Resolution 3 of 2019, changing the location of the regular meeting of March 19, 2019 to the City of Linwood, City Hall, and informing the newspapers. Move. Second. Motion and a second. Any freeholder comments? Comments from the public? Roll call vote. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Formica? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. 129. Resolution amending Resolution 3 of 2019. Changing the location of the regular meeting of April 2, 2019 to Estelle Manor, City Hall, and informing the newspapers. Second. Motion and a second. Any further comments? Madam Chair. Yes, sir. This would not be a creek post move, would it? No, we, uh, we asked each of them if they would be interested in hosting a freeholder meeting, and these are some of the responses. I just thought maybe creek would just come to Estelle Manor. We stopped oh. coming up here, but I'm glad it would be the daylight saving time when we go there. <laughs> Make the wrong turn, you got to lead us out. Just simply to say, Madam Chairman, in response to the freeholders' comment, um, you'd be more entertaining if you came to a meeting. Uh, that's a whole other discussion. Uh, but we're happy to host you, uh, since I think I'm the only resident in the room. Uh, happy to have you here. we got plenty of parking, we got plenty of space, so we're happy to have you. Thank you. Any other comments from the public? But no, I had nothing to do, for the record, I had nothing to do with the invitation. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Vermica? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. 130. Resolution amending Resolution 3 of 2019, changing the location of the regular meeting of May 7, 2019 to Hamilton Township Town Hall and informing the newspaper. Second. Motion second. Any freeholder comments? No, okay, uh, I didn't get to look at the case. Or any of these might be... Um, yes, I'm going to go I think we need to make sure that it's still minor one. Still minor one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, any comments from the public? Roll call vote. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Ramika? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. 131. Resolution amending Resolution 3 of 2019, changing the location of the regular meeting of July 16, 2019, to, to the township of Mullica Municipal Building and informing the newspapers. Move. Second. Motion and second. Any further comments on that one? Any comments from the public on Mullica? Yes, Ms. Smart. Hi. 
Sue Marks, I'm uh, from East Landing. I was with the League of Women Voters when the freeholders had their debates at our ACC. And I remember some of the questions were, will we ever be able to have meetings throughout the counties and where people could attend? So thank you very much for taking that seriously. Thank you. Any other comments from the public? Okay, roll call vote. Bennett? Yes. Martino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Ramika? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatto? Yes. Uh, yeah, it was um, definitely a priority for us to move them around. We have moved them around in the past, um, just probably not as robustly, but uh, we did have a really good response this year from the different towns, um, which is great. Uh, but it is all about bringing <coughs> access to the public. Um, and I think we should make note, too, I don't think it's actually been formally advertised, but. Um, thanks to your help, we now have the uh, meetings posted online on the county uh, page. So if you miss a meeting, um, you can always go on there and check them out. They're on YouTube. Um, so all of our freeholder meetings are now there. Okay, 132. Resolution to execute and file a spending plan for the 2018 Recycling Enhancement Act Tax Fund Entitlement Program with the Department of Environmental Protection in the amount of $214,980. Second. Motion and a second. Any uh, freeholder comments on that one? Any uh, comments from the public? Okay, roll call vote. Bennett? Yes. Bertino? Yes. Corsi? Yes. Days? Yes. Fitzpatrick? Yes. Formica? Yes. Kern? Yes. Risley? Yes. And Gatta? Yes. Uh, 133 has been added. Can I have a motion to add? Motion. Okay, motion and a second. Any uh, freeholder comments on the ad? Just one comment. 12 day rule now? Um, it came down from our county executive. Um, something that came to him, and he guessed if we could add it. I uh, fully support completely, just, you know, we're yeah. subject to the 12 day rule. I, I hear you. Okay. The Madam Chair, if I may, uh, I'm going to support it, but I did make this comment too. That we're going to start changing it because the administration sent it down, then we're going to have a problem. Because if you ask us to apply within the 12 day rule, make it apply to everybody else, I'm going to start playing politics over policy. If that's going to be the rule, <clears throat> it's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to start playing them games. If, if we, if the governing body, has made a decision, has to be 12 day notice. We're going to make everybody here to it. It's not an emergency. This is the right thing to do. Um, everybody needs to apply by the rule. And I don't, like I said, this is the right thing to do. It's that, like I said, it's not an emergency. You can wait till the next meeting. Um, but we're not going to start playing politics over the policy. And so I want to be very clear about that. Okay. Thank you. Yes, we're going to make it. Could you, uh, Roger? Yeah. Can you give us a comment on uh, our discretion here? Well, I think that uh, I think the three uh, holders have a have a point. Uh, we expect the clients by our board members. I think that so we can expect that and expect that the same apply to uh, anything that the uh, executive or the administration wants to pass on away from the. I have to agree with you. But, but were you questioning my modality? You question your authority. Oh, I didn't have the authority, but I was. That's was why I questioned your authority. But the, the point is, is that that rule came under your leadership. I, I, I am I'm agreeing with it, and I'm getting it backed up by the authority. Okay. You didn't need him to back it up. I was going by what you came up with the rule. All right. That's your rule. All right. We got the comment. Oh, no, no, no. You're not going to cut me off now. You got the comment. I'm not going to cut you off. I'm not going to cut you off. You got to let us go. I'm just trying to get it. Okay. Challenge. All right. Motion and a second. Can I please have any question on you, Dallas? All those in favor of adding? We did the add. No, we did a motion and a second to add. And then I asked for freeholder comments on the ad. Okay. And those were the comments. Right? So, so, right so, so now you need a motion to well, bring you, it to the floor. No, we didn't vote on that. You edit. didn't vote on this yet, though. You didn't vote on the ad. Oh, I already have the ad. Looks like it's all the All those in favor of adding. Yeah. All right. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay. 
Now, can we please read 133? Yes. Resolution of Atlanta County Board of Children Freeholders urging all municipalities within Atlanta County to enact ordinances prohibiting the release of the release of helium filled balloons. Okay. Do we have a motion? Second. We have a motion and a second. Now we'll further freeholder comment on the resolution. So I just want to say I did talk to the executive about this and asked about it. It was something that um, was brought to his attention. Um, I think it is important to note that we already prohibit the release of um, balloons from county parks. Um, and really all this was meant to kind of codify that via a resolution. Um, so I agree, it's, I don't think it's an emergency, um, but you know, it was something that we were kind of already doing. So um, I also didn't think it was a major ordeal. So just my comments. Uh, uh, Madam Chair, I wasn't gonna say nothing, but uh, since you made that last statement, I'm gonna say it. It is an ordeal because if we have to abide by the 12 day rule, the administration has to abide by it. I and we should not be bending the rules if it's not an emergency and time sensitive. Now, you know, I've heard here before that the county executive don't tell the freeholders what to do. But I'm starting to question that because, again, if we have a 12 day rule and the administration sends down something and you put it on and it's not time sensitive, I begin to question who runs the freeholders. So I don't know if we want to go down that road. I'm not trying to go down that road. I'm just trying to bring attention to not releasing balloons. But we understand that. The, I mean, the comment wasn't the balloons, the comment was the timing of the resolution. I understand that. So I want to be clear about that part. I heard you. Because if that's the case, no free order need to wait 12 days to bring anything up here. Because you just broke the rule. I think some people have broken the rule in the past too, and we've used discretion. If it's time sensitive. Okay. Any other freeholder comments on this one? Okay, any comments from the public on this one? Yes, Creed. I think it's okay. You're, you're projecting enough. Okay. <laughs> um, I won't make any jokes about the Ministry of Truth, uh, Madam Clerk. Uh, since we're all, we all know forgiveness is divine, so we all go from there, we're all less than perfect, so that's all good. <laughs> um, but in all seriousness, um, you have a rule. You put it in place, and either we should abide by hopefully one version of the golden rule, treat others as we would like to be treated. There's the cynical one, he who has the gold rules. And whether it's excellent public policy that all nine of you and everyone in the audience and everyone in the county would agree with, or it's something more contentious. Issues of how timely was it submitted, what's gone before the legislature, has it gone, how far has it gone, have been used as far as various resolutions in the past. Is it a question of, well, as long as there's eight municipalities, then that's an appropriate <coughs> time for the board to make a recommendation? on municipal ordinances. Does it matter then which eight or which municipalities are in the eight? Kind of keep going on the Orwell thing, some more equal than others, I don't know. Um, but considering that it's not an emergency, tabling it to the next meeting would make the statement that you are in fact under the Constitution of the state of New Jersey, a co-equal form of government, a co-equal branch. Because otherwise, as has been stated, bipartisan basis, one person saying, and with all due respect, move on it, because the letter was written yesterday, or at least it was dated yesterday, mm -hmm. but it was written yesterday, dated yesterday doesn't make it an emergency. It'll still be there, unfortunately for a lot of it'll still be there for the next meeting. It can be adopted at the next meeting. Tabling it doesn't mean you oppose it. Tabling it just means you have regular order. Got it. Or you don't. 
that's up to you. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to make a note. We did just do a motion to add, and nobody objected. And then we had a motion on the item, and it wasn't the table. So just want to make that point. Uh, Madam Chair, um, let me just say this, and, and I would agree with uh, my tenth council, uh, three on the member there, but since I've already gone on record and made it very clear that uh, though it's not an emergency, we're going, I'm going to support it, but I think we've put the administration on notice. Don't do it again. Um, and, and not just for the administration. That applies to us, too. I mean, at the end of the day, we've got to lead by example. Again, it's not earth shattering, but um, we we understand the the the, the content of the the um, resolution, and uh, I think I believe I mean Jerry and, and, and Mr. Ferguson has gotten the message very clear. Um, how they deliver it back is a different story, but I think uh, it ought to be noted if it's not earth shattering, uh, you got to buy by this. Thank you for your continued support for the Atlantic City Hometown Hero Celebration. It will be tomorrow at Dante Hall. This is our fifth year in doing it. I know I drove something crazy, but the honorees that we have, as in the past, I'm like, hey, will be honored not only by the freeholders here, but also by the General Assembly, the Senate, and now by Congress. Our Atlantic City residents and other businesses have, as we said in our model, they do it because they're built that way, giving to the community just because. So our awarded nominees and people who will be getting awards tomorrow, Mr. Tommy Hawkins, the Salvation Army Commander, Frank Patico, um, Erica Pinkett, Chanel Adams, Rosie Segura, Ed Cooper, Natural Beauty Social Club, President Tracy McClendon and her staff, Paco Nunez for Paco's Entertainment Photography, uh, Phyllis Locker, Maria, Maria Locker for Masterpiece Advertising, Chicken Bone Beach Historical Foundation, Catholic Charities, JJM Transitional Homes, the Atlantic City Boxing Hall of Fame, and it will be presented by the WBF Light Heavyweight Champion, Prince Badi Ajuma, who is fighting um, his championship match and also fighting in China, Roy Jones Jr. So he'll be there to present the award. Uh, Brian Jackson from Stockton, I'm like it. And also the United States Coast Guard, DM Herman Paul Kaiser. Our Atlantic City heroes are Shalanda Austin, Betty J. Lewis, Elaine Milan, Lenora Anderson, Dr. Peter Cupanini, Vince Papaccio, Alexander Alex Marino, Ricardo Castro, Daniel Gallagher, Derwood Pinkett. And the two ambassadors that President Action are always do every year, one will be Christopher Paladino from AC Defco and DJ Fahim Davis of DJ Fabi. These are all be people that will be honored tomorrow. So we like for all y'all to come to see the ceremony, and it is a red carpet ceremony. I got 45 feet of red carpet. Take a painting. I need that for the Hamilton Council meeting. <laughs> but I'm like, I did, I did tell Ernest I was coming and Ashley. But we hope to see y'all so y'all could, you know, greet the residents and see them. This program that we've done in Atlantic City, we're looking to do it beyond AC. 
So we'll be doing Pleasantville, Galloway. We'll be doing an honor ceremony for people in other townships just because you want to do help your community. So thank you for all your support, and we look forward to seeing some of you at the event tomorrow. Can you tell us what time the event is? It's at 7 to 9, seven to nine. at Dante Hall. I have a reception that follows at Vagabonds. Okay. It says, so where, where, where there's food and everything, and a great, great sheet cake, and dancing, and everybody for everybody. It's a Wednesday, so I <laughs> try to keep a little bit earlier, but from, from 9 o'clock will be the reception after the Vagabonds. And um, inquiring minds want to know what color suit you'll be wearing. <laughs> um, well, this time I said, oh, I, I got some special for that one, too. Okay. <laughs> so, I, I can see it. For a lot of occasions. <laughs> 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 and, actually, I'm going to let you down. I said, I specifically, and we got some for this event tomorrow, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Any other comments from the public? Creative. Thank you, guys. I don't know if I can quite follow that, but... <laughs> um, Actually related to um, my friend, the first district freeholders comment on you know not happening again. In fact, what just happened on the balloon resolution is in essence the second time in not very many months that a similar thing has happened because it wasn't that long ago uh, that we were all treated to a wide-ranging discussion on the name Chosen Freeholder. And we had a number of people in the audience who never come to a meeting before and had come to a meeting since to support a particular set of views on that. I'm not saying you or the executive or anyone else anything are, were in support of those particular views, but it was that the executive chose that that would become part of the meeting. Not in response to a resolution or any other action by the board. And when we talk about whether it's an ordeal or not, I think there were some members of the board as well as some members of the public who felt that that particular taboo was a bit of an ordeal for them, considering some of the rhetoric and how some of that was handled. Okay, you're going way back on. I, okay, go ahead. Not that far. Yeah. Okay. I didn't remember who put what on the agenda, sorry. Yeah. Well, it didn't seem to be a resolution. It didn't seem to be an official presentation. It seemed to be just all of a sudden, it's okay. here. And certainly, um, you know, my dad will tell me that uh, you know, even out of the mouths of a fool or the, and the law is a chance that you know, you'll get some words of wisdom and he puts his arm around me because his father put his arm around him when he was telling him that. And son, you're not so smart, you can afford to miss it. So sometimes those things are still educational. But let's not pretend that there wasn't a particular perhaps agenda in place and that was again one branch of government controlling another branch of government on something that again was not an emergency, was not urgent, was not even really an issue of the day necessarily. The bill still hasn't gone anywhere, I don't think. But just since the comment was not having it happen again, it has happened before, and the comment was not an ordeal, I would just ask that for the future we not have it a third. Any other comments from the public? All right, seeing none, good of the order. Anything good of the order? Yes, free order. Um, I, have a, I have a couple of things. Um, at 6.30 in Gallo Township, Township Council is recognizing a young man um, from my, my school, Gallo Township Middle School. He's on the wrestling team. Uh, the gentleman's name is Charles Soto. And uh, earlier this month at a wrestling match, they were wrestling, I believe it was Lower Township, but the school is important. Uh, there was a wrestler on the opposing team who has Down syndrome. And he had not had a match all season. It was the second to last match of the year. And um, this young man, uh, Charlie Soto, stepped up and said he would give this uh, child a match. And uh, a couple of minutes later, after he stepped up and the coaches let the officials know, um, he said, you know what, I I'm going to give him a win. And, uh, and he did that. And um, he's going to be recognized tonight for his, uh, his citizenship and his compassion. And I just wanted to mention it here tonight that, uh, you know, we oftentimes you'll hear the, the negative news and 
Um, the, the, the goodness of our, of our youth is often overlooked and uh, or people think it's not there any longer. So I just wanted to recognize him in this setting as well. Um, and I, I do plan to be there too, to recognize him. Um, and earlier we talked about uh, some uh, point drops for the Ocean Hill Volunteer Fire Department. Ocean Hill Volunteer Fire Department is also having a fundraiser Friday evening at Fred Nothings in Galloway Township from 6 to 10. Um, and I'm not saying that because that's my fire department that I would rely on in an emergency, but um, However, but it's important that we do support our volunteer fire departments. I mean, they uh, they, they do a tremendous job um, at a huge cost savings to a lot of us here in Atlanta County. Um, so I do think that uh, every chance we get, and I know a lot of people don't like going to the coin drops. You know, a lot of people uh, you know don't 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 think they're safe or whatever, but. Um, anytime you can get a chance to, to support the volunteer fire department, I uh, would encourage you to do so. Thank you. I had the opportunity to witness something similar last year, last wrestling season, uh, between a Bay's Landing wrestler and an Ocean City wrestler, and it's uh, quite a sight. So, and it takes a lot of courage for uh, both of those those people to step forward and do that. So, I uh, thank kudos to you. Okay. Uh, anything else for go to the order? Seeing none, I'll have a motion to adjourn. Motion and second. All those in favor? Any opposed? See you next.